I'm laying in urea! Hey there. How you doing? Good. You see Kent. That's me. That's you. You're on film already. Awesome. Oh, wow. Welcome so to Stranger Valley Fertilizers. Should we go in your office? Sure. Okay, let's go. Come on in. All right. Thanks for doing this. I really appreciate it. Yeah, no problem. So I guess we can start first with, uh, what is your name? My name is Kent Lamaru. Kent Lamaru. All right. Senior agronomist at Sturgeon Valley Fertilizers. Senior what? Senior agronomist at Sturgeon Valley Fertilizers. What does that mean? What do you, what's your name? Uh, it just means I'm the old guy here. You're the old guy here? Yeah. <laughs> All right. So I guess the biggest thing is I'm trying to write an article on the pros and cons between liquid and granular fertilizer. Obviously, okay. you guys only do granular here. You, do you sell any of the liquid stuff? Oh, no, we got a full liquid. What did you take in school? Uh, agronomy, Kids. field crop management. Out yeah. of Gold's College. Yeah, there's a lot of chemistry and biology I hear you speak. Yeah, there, there's a lot. Yeah, it's all about plant systems and keeping everything balanced and happy. This is really, really helpful. All oh, right, good. this article I, I, article, I really appreciate your time. Ah, thank you. Appreciate you coming in. Me... Thank, thank you. Fly. Yeah, you're welcome. <laughs> so, um, can somebody take me around so I can just film the, the facility then? Sure, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Awesome. Well, um, we'll make it me. Um, going for a tour. We'll have a look at the fertilizer plant. All right. So how long has this facility been here? Since 1976. Wow, uh, I was a year old then. <laughs> <laughs> and who's this gentleman? Oh, Sydney. that's 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 the owner. That that's is, the owner. That's SVF Papa. That's uh, wow. That's Larry Laird. Cool. Just go in through the back here. Okay. So basically, like I was telling you before, we get in base grade ingredients. We get in these green ingredients. So that one was nitrogen. This is your phosphate. Okay. This is a sulfur source. This is another micronutrient that's extremely important in Western Canada for wheat production. Okay. This nutrient is copper. It helps uh, the wheat fight off disease even. So wow. it was extreme. we had extreme copper deficiencies okay. about 20 years ago. Yeah. Okay, so this, this is called ESN, this nitrogen source. We don't use it for broadcasting. We use this nitrogen source to place it into the ground, but it does not, it is actually coated with a, with a, with a polymer. Mm -hmm. And so uh, it does not give up as nitrogen until it gets rainfall uh -huh. and then it'll dissolve and then it will make its nitrogen available to the plant. So it sits there in, uh, in stasis until rain comes along. Cool. And that's uh, environmentally smart nitrogen, ESN. This is another, remember the nutrient I was talking about that is responsible for drought resistance? Mm -hmm. That's this stuff. This is potassium, potassium chloride. So potassium potash, that's still- Potash. It's the, oh, it's the same, it's really the yeah. same thing. It, it potassium is, potash yeah. Potash is the same thing. Same okay. thing, right out of Saskatchewan, you bet. Oh, okay. That's yeah. Cargill. They Cargill, uh, uh, actually all owned by uh, uh, Agrium now oh, owns all okay. of that. Okay, and here's urine, except it's empty. Yeah, the urine is empty. <laughs> yeah. Seeing this million dollar cats here. We should go visit I our million dollar cats. Thing. Tell me about million dollar cats. Okay, well, we need the cats because we sell forage seed and the cats make sure that the mice don't get into that seed. Now the seed's quite expensive, so they save us millions of dollars every year. Ah. Those are the million dollar cats. Nice. And yeah. they live in the shop here? Blend, this is our bulk blending facility. Okay. Services are large growers and we can fit 45 tons in those bins right there. This facility can hold about 7,000 tons wow. of fertilizer. What else you got here? 
Uh, as I mentioned, at least eight different varieties. Uh, if a guy has once a ton or two or three or four tons of bags, we can custom make a blend to whatever he needs. Most of your clients are farmers. Yeah. And, and all the all the fertilizer for lawn that you sell equates to one farmer. Yeah, about that. Yeah. Yeah. One average size customer is what our lawn and garden business does in a year out of this facility. Yeah. Hey. Thank you. Keep on shaking with my left hand. Yes. Well, that was pretty gracious of them for Kent to let me come and interview him. It's great because he gave me a lot of information that I needed to write my article for CCI Magazine. I mean, how, how often do you get to jump inside a bunch of urea? 